Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Do you know how to take an Excel data table with years across the top and convert that into a Tableau bar chart? This is the video for you. Some of the feedback I got was people wanted more real life situations. And this was a situation that a client gave to me. They had a data table that they wanted to convert into a bar chart in Tableau. So I'm going to show you some of the steps that I went through and how I was able to do it. And then I'm going to show you some things that you might want to try yourself. So this is the table. I've already linked it to Tableau. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to do is instead of F1, I'm going to rename that and call that category. This has got revenue, gross profit, profit percentage, net income. And so now I'm going to come to the worksheet. Now, one thing you may notice is that years one through five are showing up as dimensions. We want to actually show those as, I selected all of them, left click, and we're going to convert these to measures because that's really what they are. They have values in them. What we want is we want to be able to have the value or the, the year along the bottom and the category. So let me pull the category for sure, because I know we're going to need that. Gross income, net income, revenue. And now let me pull over year one. Okay, that is behaving the way I was expecting it to behave, right? So if we bring over another one, this is going to cause problems. It's not going to give us what we want. We want to have year one with all three categories, year two with all three categories. So let is, let's change these. Because these are measures now, we can bring the measure names up to the column shelf. Not a whole lot has happened because we don't have any measure values. So now we can grab the measure values, drop those on the rows, and now we get the bar charts. You'll notice that there's a couple things that we still don't want. This count of data table. Uh, and what we can do is just right click, actually we're down here, we'll just left click and drag it off. And now we've got gross profit and net income. They're still small, we don't want to see that. So you can either right click and exclude, and then it will automatically put the category under the filter tab. Or you could come up here, edit filter, and get rid of net income. You see down here it says exclude and so when you select on them they're crossed out. So that's another way of doing it. Or if you didn't want exclude you could just highlight I'll show that none and just select the ones you want. Either way works. And we'll bring over the category as the color. One thing I don't like to do, I don't like to show revenue as red if it's actually positive. So let's come under color, let's edit that and we'll just put a, a bluish teal color. The other thing that I don't like about this chart is it goes, it doesn't feel like it goes in the right order. It feels like we should be talking about the revenue, then gross profit, and then net income. So there's a couple ways we can do that. What I'm going to do is just take the revenue, left click, and just drag it up. And now the order is correct. Of course, now I would like to have the darker blue. I like to do dark colors and then uh, lighter colors to the right. So that is one option. There was a, There's another option. Let me just clear this worksheet. Now we've got the data table. I've already renamed it. Here's a function. If we select all of these year columns, oops, select all these year columns, right click there's an option down here to pivot and what it will do is it'll take all those years and put them all in the same column for me that's a little more intuitive that's how a lot of databases would approach this is they have it all in one call all the years in one column and now we can come in here rename this uh, year uh, you can right click or you could just double click I'm going to call this values Usually, if it has dollars, I'd like to put in dollars, but this has percentages down here, so I'm going to put that as values. Once again, we're going to do the same type of thing. We've got the category, 
And now we know we want the years. And then we'll bring the values over here. It gives us very same thing. You know, you could switch it around and you could have the years if you wanted to see it all by, you know, the category and how it's progressing over the years. But that's not how this client wanted it. Once again, we've got these items here. So we'll bring the category to the filters, get rid of the gross profit. Now we showed you, I showed you have one way to get to sort. Here's another way to sort under sorting and gives you options of ascending or descending. That works great if you're doing something alphabetically. I'm gonna do it manually. And I just want the revenue you see here is on the far right. I want it obviously on the left. So I'm gonna move that to the top. And now it steps down, which is what I wanted. Final step, grabbing the category and dropping that over. And then of course you could change the colors if you wanted to. All right, last thing. I'm going to actually go back so that I can do one more thing on this pivot. Instead of having year one, two, three, four, I'm going to rename this so that it is the actual year number. Now, there may be a lot of good reasons why you don't want to do that. If you have a project that is, you don't know the start time, for example, you might do year one, two, three, four, five, or however many. And then you, uh, that way, whenever this starts, then you kind of know what to expect in terms of revenue, gross profit. What I want like about this particular option, oops, darn it, I didn't want to do that is select all four again, right click, we're gonna go and pivot again. It's gonna put it all in the same column and I can put down, I'm gonna put down date instead of year because the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and change this to date. And you can see all of these are now changed to date. Change these to value again. So why would I do that? Oops. Uh, you can use some of the date functions now. Missing data, you could treat it now like a date, which is what you were intending it to be, I think, in the first place. So we'll bring the date up here, and you can see now it says years, because it's treated as a date. We're going to drop the category, because we want the category in each for each year. I'm going to do the filter again, get rid of the percentages. And we're going to grab the value and we're going to dump that on rows and drop the category under color. Final way to show you how to do this under category, default properties. There's a default sort option. And if you're going to be using this particular order a lot, if you had something like high, medium, and low, you may want to manually adjust the default sorting so that it's always in the same order every time you bring it over. That's very helpful. And there you go. That, of course, you can get rid of that. One other thing I'll show you where it might be helpful is if you were to put the date up there, drop the values on the rows, and now just like any date value, the default chart is a line. And so now you have a line chart. Of course, what you may want to do, because these are all the values, you may need to put the category under filters or under color to separate them. There you go. Hope you found it useful. This was requested kind of as a new format or a new focus on real life situations. So thank you for filling out those surveys in the community section of my channel. I, I do look at it and I do try and incorporate it. Thanks for watching. Hope you found that video helpful. Hit subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I release new videos. And check out my other videos to learn even more about Tableau.